today we're going to be going from this to this what is up youtube welcome back to the channel if you guys are new please make sure you subscribe smash that like button and don't forget to ring that bell for notifications so you never miss a video as you saw in the beginning of video we're going to be recovering the armrests the arm handles uh, door handles whatever you want to call them on the e46 m3 now i was shopping around for new ones first this one's not that bad the passenger side one was a lot worse a lot of scratches this one has a little crack in it let me flip it over here real quick let me show you so as you can see it's not that bad it has some scratches in it here here it is cracked up here uh the biggest part is right here where it's peeling um, but the other side was a lot worse this one's not too bad and i was looking for new ones but they are so expensive they're a few hundred dollars each so this is an alternative you could wrap them as well uh, but i like this custom leather look let me show you how they come and I'll put a link in the description below for these um, for these covers. They're leather covers. There's two of them, one for the top piece and one for the actual armrest. This top piece is for this right here. This company sells these covers for all kinds of cars. They have different colors. They have red stitching. You can go with uh, blue stitch. They have different stitching colors, different options for all kinds of vehicles, not just the BMW. So like I said, I'll put a link in the description below. Now, as far as the tools, I have glue sticks, a glue gun, some pry tools, a little screwdriver, a heat gun, and the spray adhesive that Evan has right there. Another thing you're gonna need is a T15 Torx bit. All right, so the first three screws are here in the bottom, one in the front, one right here, and then one right here. I've already loosened them. And then there's another one here, so you're gonna get a pry tool get that off just gently get back in there you would think when you take these screws out this could just come out but no this is just removing you have to remove the whole door panel in order to get this off because there's screws on the inside there's another screw back here there's a cap and what i do is i just go just take my little screwdriver and push down in the corner is there any more screws after that one? On the front now. And it's held in with clips. Behind the door is this uh, right here. This will come clips right off. To remove the handle, there's one, two, three, four, five screws. So we'll start right here. And they're all torx bits? Yep, same size. Maybe I should take my door panel off on the Mercedes and refix that spot that's all burnt up. Good. I ordered the uh, upholstery for the seat, so maybe a video can get done on that. Because that's a very common problem on those cars. This side's going to be a little trickier because it has the um, the mirror. Um, the mirror switch, adjustments? Adjustment switch. So that side didn't have it, so it was a lot easier. We'll have to cut it out. It comes right off. And with that off, we can take the this off. And we're loose. So it looks like there's two like spring-loaded prongs on each side. And then if you squeeze those together, it can come out the front. There you go. All right. Good. Look, it's very correct. Yep. I gotta take that thing off? Yep. It'll work. work down. It's two prongs that go in. There's like two here, two here, and two here. And they're very brittle and they can break easily. Looks like someone did glue it. Was yeah. it glued? It looked like it, see? Looks like there's some glue there. All right, well, we got it off. That first. This first. Now this is the back part, and you want the stitches to be on this part, and they're basically going to sit like right here. And what you do is you just match up one side. So now with it upside down, spray this first. Spray this. Mm -hmm. 
we got the heat gun in case we need to heat it up so we can move it around easier. You don't have to clean all the adhesive off. Yeah, I had to clean the other side off too. We're also going to use the glue gun. And if your placement's not right, you can move it while it's all still curing. It's not dry, so you want to get it all done before it dries. All right, so we got our glue gun plugged in. I already have one of these in there. So I'm going to let, set that there and let that warm up. Meanwhile, I'm going to start trimming this away. All right, so I'm going to start here in the middle. Start putting this in here. And you only want to do one area at a time because this stuff dries pretty fast. So you do that first. Now that we cleaned it up and got all the glue off, I'm using this Clyde's coloring balm just to hydrate it some. Just want to show you this. I put a link down in the description. I found this on Facebook and I did, redid the seats and I fell in love with it. It's basically like a, a conditioner that has dye in it, right? Yeah, pretty much. Looking good. Yes, sir. All right. Let that dry. All right, so while we're waiting for that to dry, make sure you guys subscribe and ring that bell for notifications so you don't miss a video. Also, if you haven't already, make sure you do check out our partners. We, have, we will put the links in the description below and we also will put it to the website because we have them on our website as well. They are Tuner Motorsports, ECS Tuning, and VRSF. Yep. And also check out our new Amazon store. I'm gonna touch these up too before we put the armrest back in. I just wanna show you how good this stuff works. Here's some scratches here, here as well, back here. But before you use it, you wanna clean the surface down. What are you doing? <laughs> I'm gonna take the applicator from you. So all you need is a little bit. <laughs> and you could do a few coats until you achieve what you know the look you want. If it doesn't go away on the first go, yeah, it looks so much better. And keep in mind, this isn't completely restoring the leather. It's still going to be there, but it just blends it nicer. So. <laughs> you a screwdriver? No. Can you clean microfiber? Uh, we don't have any. Do you want any? No. You giving me a dirty one? It has clad stuff on it already. Looks good, doesn't it? Yeah, it does look good. Okay. Blends it all together nicely. back together and there she is I think it looks so much better but this is a perfect option if you want to give it a custom new look this is great you can also wrap it but the wrap I don't think it gives it a nice custom look like this it looks like uh, it was made with the card like that so nice stitching like I said I'll put a link in the description below uh, they do have different options for all vehicles it's not just a BMW they have different colors different vehicles they're all custom made. The next video, we have the cow uh, down there. We also have the trim pieces to replace this because it's all dry rotted. Replace this, but the cow needs some TLC. Look at that. Also, we just got it back from the paint shop. We got two new rockers on each side. They did a nice job with the paint. Looks fantastic. Yeah, and the bumper we got redone because if you saw the, the um, diffuser install video, this thing was a mess. You saw the scratches and all that but they did a very nice job. That'll do it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you smash that like button, subscribe if you're new, and make sure you ring that notification bell so you don't miss these cool videos we got coming. See you in the next one.
Chucky Beach.